Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Role Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Brand's Tale. We are in our second science lab, still exploring its hidden depths, seeing what we can find along our way. We have found a few doors so far that we haven't been able to crack open. We've had some unfortunate luck, but there is still more that we can explore outside of those doors, and so we will continue to do just that, trying to, as best we can, uh, avoid any turrets or anything else that might be causing us issues down here, because the high chances are we're still going to run into them. We haven't been able to use our science ID card here, so we're going to have a whole heap of them. And really, I think we probably wouldn't be using them. We don't need to, so at this stage we'd be avoiding doing it. Because I reckon we can make it. You know what? I think that might actually be this level. Yeah. I'm looking at all the different ways we can go. And I think that's actually it. So we're going to be moving further down. I want to go up as well. But I think down is probably going to be the best choice for us right now. Purely just because down is going to lead us to the end of this lab. And where all of its goodies are. And I think it's probably better for us to do that while we're still relatively fresh. We are a little tired. I think if we come across a nice set of bedrooms, we'll make uh, camp for the night. We're just going to go ahead and peek down these stairs, which I'm very glad that's something we can do now, because in labs, that would usually end up being your death otherwise. Okay. Oh, we have ourselves a skitterbot. And, haha, it's an augmentation station of sorts. Okay, we got zapped. That's okay. I think the best thing for us to do with the skitterbot is to just try and blast it with our our finger guns. Although in saying that, we're here now. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough. And we can go ahead, I think, our internal furnace is still on. We can go ahead and just eat part of the sucker. Where are your bits and pieces? Broken Skitterbot, can I not eat you? Mr. Broken Skitterbot, I am not seeing it on the ground. Usually it's in a separate it, it could be here somewhere. I might just be missing it. Or the Skitterbot might actually just be too large for us to eat one go, which I think is probably the actual case. Let's see what else we've got around here. No, the room is clear. Uh, no, not entirely. There are some that are actually outside of them here. So, let's go ahead, use that finger-mounted laser, and we're going to start to charge that up and give this thing a good blast. Okay, we'll go ahead and start running back, see if we can get a little bit of distance here. Okay, alright, so we haven't mastered the quick fire at this stage, so it is still worth us just taking a little bit of time to get a shot in. We've been zapped yet again, let's get some more distance here. And this is the one that is injured, so... Okay, once we have a hit, our steadiness should stay about the same. We actually missed that one, surprisingly enough. There we go, that's better. Okay, still alive. Just grazing hits. Unfortunately, we have three of them now. And they are relatively good at stunning us. You can see that they're actually doing a fair amount of damage to our torso, which is uh, really not what we're after. So let's try and shoot again. That is severely injured, so we should be able to take this thing out here. And that's a miss. Surprisingly enough, 85% you can still miss. Okay, we're being zapped yet again. Uh, we're definitely going to have to sleep after this, but thankfully there is that nice little leather seat down there that we can go ahead and have a little bit of a nap on. And it is still up. This thing has a lot of life left in it. It says it's nearly dead. Finally, we got there. Okay, let's see if we can get a precise shot off on you. Actually, yeah, we should be able to. We've still got three of them. Huh. Only two left now. 
I'd love to be able to get another shot off because once we get up to the kind of height that we are now, the chances of us getting a really good shot is uh, is up there. So you can see the headshots do so much more damage. So once we have that accuracy, we're looking like we're going to have a good time. Although you can see that we lose some of that when we get shocked. There are so many more here than I anticipated. <laughs> see if we can get that up to 90 or close to. Okay, well that's gone and raised our marksmanship skill up to four. Let's keep it up, Bran, keep it up. It's a grazing hit, surprisingly enough. It's nearly dead, come on buddy. There we go, we got there in the end. Now our torso is feeling it a little bit, so let's go ahead and activate some of those bandages that we picked up just before. Wrap that around our torso, which isn't feeling super hot right now. So we've got a whole heap of broken skitterbots here. We've got a power converter, now we can eat that. Let's go ahead and just munch on that. See if any others have uh, anything like that. Can we just eat the lump of steel? We can eat the amplifier circuit. Okay, it's going to give us 12, which isn't, you know, a huge amount. Plutonium cells. Uh, can, we, can we eat the plutonium cells? We can't. I'd like to keep them, though, because plutonium isn't always the most easy thing to come across. Let's go crank open our cranial flashlight here for a moment or two. So there is definitely one still inside the room there. It's not going to get out by itself. It looks like we've got a body down there. It's interesting. Let's turn that off. Now, is that a human body? No, it was a zombie scientist. And as we know, zombie scientists can have some good stuff. So, let's go get butchering. We are going to... Cut up the zombie scientist, dissecting the corpse. Ignore the calls. We have an asthma attack. Um, we will ignore it for now. I just hope that we're going to pull through. And that we do. <laughs> battery system and power storage. Okay. Well, battery system we can't do anything with. The power storage we can take. Let's just take a second or two there. We can stop running as well. Okay, I'm not concerned about the minimal pain right now. That's something that we can deal with. The battery system CBM. I wonder, can we... Can we eat that? <laughs> we can. We get quite a bit from it. You know what? Let's do it. There we go. We digested the whole CBM. I like it. And we have another Skitterbot. We have a lot of these. Okay, so we're going to take a precise shot. There we go. So we should be at 100%. Actually, I just moved, so that's a lie. But I don't think he can actually see us. No, can't. So we'll just wait here. And we lost it again. Okay, so it's just right on the edge of our sight lines. There we go. Dead. Take the batteries. We do have a battery system, so we can actually just use those batteries ourselves. And there we go. Broken cyborgs are plenty. And a shocker to boot. Now there is actually a dead broken cyborg in there, which is kind of interesting. I'd like to know how that happened. But we need to take care of a skitterbot in here first. Aha. Okay, we're going to have to try and... I wonder if this here, if this console will open that one. Because I think I've gotten a little used to having a uh, pickaxe with us. Because <laughs> we're also going to have to open these all at the same time. Which, in our current state, probably isn't the best idea. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to try and see if we can find ourselves a little room in which we can sleep. Just to see if we can recover. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's just peek. Okay. There should be food in there, in those vending machines, should we desire it. Okay, we're getting a little further away than I would have liked. Fair bit of this lab is actually collapsed, which, that's cool. I find that interesting. Oh, all of this is down here. Very interesting. Hmm, it's either like this lab wasn't finished? Or it's kind of been forgotten for a fair while. Which, I guess that possibility is there. Okay. 
actually. <clears throat> I think it's this one here. Operating theatre control. Successfully locked in. Unlock. And we got shocked. Fantastic. Okay, we need to back off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on our sensory dulling because our intelligence is going to drop too much otherwise. Okay, so the pain doesn't bother us any longer. Let's try and hack the system yet again. The console shuts down. Our luck with these have, has been absolutely terrible considering that our computer skill is actually pretty good. We're looking at five, yeah, and we have an intelligence of 15. We have a pretty good chance to succeed at this. I'm really quite surprised that we aren't succeeding. And I've just noticed now that we are actually suffering the effects, or rather having the positive effects, of ninjutsu. We're having silent melee attacks, so when we're attacking with our blade, we do that completely silently, which that's actually quite a nice little bonus. Okay, well you know what? I think this chair will be comfortable enough. The only question is whether or not all of the all of our friends down there are going to be making a whole heap of noise during the night. It's quite possible, so we'll try and sleep at least for a little while and see if their calling wakes us up. We are a deep sleeper, so we do sleep through more than your regular Cataclysm character would. We use the lab coat to keep us warm. We just kind of wrap it around ourselves as we fall asleep in the chair hoping that those doors continue to hold because we don't want to be woken up by our brethren. We're going to be fine. We'll be feeling all good and fresh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, something's making noise. From the southeast and above we hear smash as part of the lab collapses upon itself. We didn't see where that collapse happened, but there was some kind of collapse. Interesting, and we are completely deaf right now. Well, let's go ahead and have something to eat. What's going to last the smallest amount of time? Um, let's see. Uh, we could go for the last of the beans and rice. There we go. So we're going to be dropping our duffel bag outside. Because that's just going to help us out here. Uh, and whether or not we want to use the battle rifle here, or if we just want to use our pistols. Because what we want to do, first of all, is take down the shocker. Because the shocker... While we've defeated them before, they still can be quite dangerous. And using our blade against them isn't an option in the slightest. So we're going to go ahead and sheath that broadsword, place it away. Let's just go... There's nothing explosive in here, I think. <laughs> it's always worth checking. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop the duffel bag. Okay. What do we want to do? Do we want to use our rifle here, or do we want to just pew pew? I think we're going to use the battle rifle here. It's got a little bit more bang. We're going to go ahead. Emergency evacuation. Open. Quick shut down. So all the doors are now open. Yes, they most certainly are. Okay, we want this to be a really good shot. And unfortunately, we pushed it a little too far. Uh, stop aiming. Yes. That's really quite unfortunate. But we will be able to get him. Let's just get maybe 70. Okay, that's a good shot. The electricity zapped out, causing us to almost short circuit for a moment. We try and steady up our rifle again and fire. This time killing the shocker zombie. 113 points of damage. This thing really does pack a freaking punch. And I'd like to get a little bit better with it as well. So we're going to turn on that cranial flashlight and we're going to see if we can lure out some friends. Try to at the very least. Okay, you guys gonna come outside? <laughs> there we go. All right, let's start steadying up. He's nice and close. There we go, 110. Bam, just like that. Same here, see if we can get to 80. It's not even a headshot, it's not even a critical. Uh, the first one was, but yeah, okay. All right, let's head back, grab that duffel bag, and we'll grab everything else as well. Okay. Ah, I guess we weren't wielding the broadsword. We're, we're, we're wielding the baldric. Okay, that's, uh, that's my mistake. <laughs> I want to activate it. There we go, much better. So let's have a look. Clean water. It's time. 
I'm just going to go ahead and adjust that music volume. Knock it down a little bit. The synths always seem to be a lot uh, louder. So the Shocker Zombie still can have some quite good things for us. So let's go ahead and start dissecting our friend here. Um, unfortunately, the cyborgs are probably just going to have... Oh, did I miss a broken cyborg? Oh, no, the one down the bottom came back to life. Yes, stop. Ha, huh. fantastic. All right. A few quick slashes. There we go. Now, it won't take us long to finish what we started here. Dissect the corpse. Hmm. Ignore the crash. For the north and above. Yeah, we're hearing some bad things. And the funny, the funny thing is, above is where we came from. So it might be quite above. Hmm. So the alarm system we've already got. So we can go ahead and just eat the spear one. Yeah. Done. Dusted. And let's have some regular beans and rice. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and dissect the rest of these. Um, we are going to take the power storage from them because I'm going to go ahead and apply all of these now. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. The burnt out bionic, I wonder if we can eat that. We can eat the cargo pants. Burnt out bionic. We don't get much power back from it, but we get something. We're going to do the same thing here. Dissect. Slice and dice. Okay, it took a while, but we got there. And I'm going to turn off our sensory dulling just for now, because I think we're okay. We're going to take you, and we're going to eat the burnt out bionic. One last one. Dissect the corpse. We seem to be quite happy. I should check in on us and see why that is. Um, oh, right. Just lots of different foods that we've enjoyed over the last wee while. And burnt out bionic. There's two of them. Ah, so. Oh, there is actually a uh, power storage CBM there, though. Oh, we're actually at capacity. So let's just go drop these books for now, just so that we can have these other power storage CBMs with us. Have some beans and rice, and we'll go ahead and catch our breath. Much better. Ah, I forgot about you. <laughs> I completely forgot about you. Let's do something about that then. Can we get a precise shot in? We can indeed. Excellent. Okay. And that's you dead, son. Excellent. So there's an anesthetic kit. We'll take it with us. We don't need those anymore, but still worth a look and we'll also just double check that there are no CBMs hidden here there aren't okay so we're on the auto dock um, whoa hang on let's go ahead and activate this first of all I can't remember if it activates automatically I think it might uh, we're just gonna go ahead install power storage CBM 2% chance of failure there we go we succeeded Okay, we don't actually even seem to sleep for all that long, so we're just going to go ahead and do this for all of them. And we are going to have 800 points of extra power. Actually, no, we, I think we had 9, so 900 extra points of power. We're going to be quite a powerful, Bran. And yeah, those chances, the chances of failure are very small. We can still fail, um, especially when we're installing as many of these. But so far, so good. Bran's just letting... The machine do its work after setting it all up, of course. Okay. Two more. Nearly there, Bran. And we're actually fully recovered now. Looking all nice and fresh. With even more power than we had before. Which I'm very happy about. Now, how many batteries do we have on us currently? Because it would be good to bring some of them back with us, but then that's also 800 power that we can add to ourselves. Hmm. Yes, what to do, what to do. Now I can't, yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't eat you, but I guess what we could do is disassemble the skitterbot here. Let's just go ahead and store that in our baldric, and I think we're going to need light for this. Let's see if we can disassemble you. Okay, taser, power converter, that's nice. All right. Heard crash, ignore. Yep, there are some big things going down. 
Okay, we dropped several items onto the floor. All right, let's go ahead and start eating. A taser, two. We don't actually get much from those at all. That's uh, really not worth the time there. Yeah, not worth it at all. Do you have anything else in our inventory worth it? Nope, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just have something to drink. We don't have a huge amount of food left now, so I don't want to do, we don't want to generate power that way. But uh, we could always just go to the machines, the vending machines, of course, and make use of them. Let's do that, eh? Grab all of you. Okay, and we've got a lot more carrying capacity now, so feeling pretty happy. What do you have for us? Chocolate drink. Um, there's like a hidden wall behind there or something. There's something weird going on. I can't, I can't move this though. But I don't trust that. I feel like there's something there. So I, I think we might try and destroy that. But uh, we're gonna need food first. Unfortunately, there's not proper food in here. Let's see what we got. Nice herbal tea. That could be good. Now we could just smash these. It will set off an alarm. But I guess you know that that's okay. Let's go ahead and activate that baldric. It just starts to smash. Yep, I know. Alright. Because we can't dis- Oh, we can deconstruct it. Well, I'm- No, you cannot deconstruct this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Are we having any impact on the vending machine? <laughs> we do not seem to be damaging the vending machine. Damn it. I really want to know what's going on behind there. Well, that's a real shame. We are, we've done nothing. <laughs> okay, well, that's something. Uh, we could just get some meat jerky. Everything else isn't very rich in calories, unfortunately, so it's not going to give us a huge amount of energy. Just go for a chocolate bar. I am actually buying these at the moment. Yeah. Some old potato chips. Chocolate covered pretzels, sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and turn on this metabolic interchange. Get it cranking up a little bit. Okay. And we will eat. We're gonna go with the snacks first. There we go. Let us just get hungry again. Wow, that is so freaking loud. There's some big things going down. Wait until we get very hungry. Um, I feel like there's a party, and we are not invited. How much power do we have now? 4,960. Very nice. Okay, so we've got all that power back pretty much from just the meat jerky there. So, I'm happy with the performance of the jerky. Uh, we're going to go for these pretzels first. Unfortunately, they are going to make us really thirsty. Good thing is that water in the lab isn't too difficult to come across. Plastic bag of cracklings, yeah, sure, let's go for them. Go for the chocolate bar. We're going to be very happy with all these different food types that we're eating, though. Very, very nice. Oh, caps locks. It is a killer. Okay. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get rid of hunger here. All right, there we go. Let's just turn off the interchange. We're, we're very close to full. Very, very close. And we're going to have the beans and rice just to see if we can make ourselves happy. We can't. Uh, this is going to... Dehydrated vegetables aren't going to be super nice to eat, but we are going to eat them. And then we're just going to have some water. We're feeling fine. Feeling good about life. Okay. Let's continue this exploration. As we hear swish. Right. And some more cloning vats. Marvelous. Okay. Same thing here. Yep. Okay. I think I'd like to head across the left. We've got a giant cockroach. Well, that's that's some meat. So let's go ahead and make use of that. Because we might as well while we're here. Um, I don't know if we have... Yeah, we don't have anything to actually cook it with, so we need to keep our eye out on the kitchens. We're just going to go for a quick butchery here. We're not trying to do anything fancy, but we still get quite a few chunks of meat out of that. Which I'm happy with. 
Um, now, was there anything down there? There's a little bit of a kitchen, so yeah, let's go ahead and make our way down there. Okay. Alright, it is a oven. Yes, indeed it is. Now, believe it or not, we can actually use ovens as intended in this game. Crazy, I know, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and ignore this. Now, this could potentially kill me. <laughs> I'm going to really hope it doesn't. But uh, ovens work like braziers in this. So you can actually go ahead and load it up with some wood, set that thing on fire, and you should be golden. Uh, so let's change the filter that we have here, just so we can see that there is indeed a 2x4 in there. And let's go ahead and see if we can light that there. Can we start a fire quickly with the refillable lighter? Okay, sure. We're sta we've started a fire <laughs> inside of there. Now, it is inside the oven, so we should theoretically be okay. I think we might need some uh, wooden splinters to be able to actually cook the meat on it, but we'll just go ahead and have a look first of all. We can dehydrate some meat. Food dip? Am I carrying a food de I'm carrying a food dehydrator. Ah, I came prepared, as you can see. Alright, um, 2 by 4 we're going to go ahead, just drop you on the ground, and butcher you. Get six splintered woods. We're going to need one more piece, so let's grab one more 2 by 4 Okay, there we go. Hopefully we have enough uh, fire here. We'll just do them one at a time for now, because I don't know how much time we're actually going to get out of that fire. So we're just going to go ahead and hit repeat, as we hear smash. Okay. Uh, we are getting quite warm, standing next to this fire, but we're doing okay. Okay, we can no longer see well enough to craft. So... Okay, we still have six chunks of meat there, so we definitely want to go and make use of those. So let's go take two 2x4s and drop them into the oven. Uh, rather, three 2x4s, it took all of them. And we'll go ahead and just use that refillable lighter. Light up. Uh, there's nothing to light there. Okay, that's great. I, I, di I actually didn't try to select light up, but uh, start a fire quickly. Okay, there we go. Wow, that could have been dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Okay. So we'll just keep going through, but by bit. It is going to keep on asking us if we wish to stop doing it. We do not. We wish to continue. Ignore. Just keep on going. And I believe, yep, that's us done. So that's all of that meat. That lovely, fresh cockroach meat. Yum. Delicious. Fantastic. <laughs> We've got two more things of water there. Go ahead. Have that for now. Okay, moving back up. Are we going to continue going north first? Yes, we are. Okay. And we could actually go north there as well. Good to know. And we have smashed glass. And we have a chance to collect some more water. Which we probably should do now. So let's just have the last of that clean water there. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and pour that into. We do not have a suitable container for carrying water. Well, I beg to differ. We have the perfect device to carry it. Um, weird that you're not letting me do it. Hmm. Fine. Fine. I didn't even want it anyway. We try to pry, but we cannot. Ah, uh, okay, slime serum. We're going to be leaving the slime serum, I think. We're going to take the Ambien, take the batteries. I mean, we've got rat serum. I've really only been taking mutagenic serum. I haven't been taking the, the types of serums. I think we're actually going to leave that rat serum behind. Again, we're not going to be using uh, mutagens on brand. Other than maybe medical. Maybe. Maybe. It is a big maybe. Um, we've got blobs in here though. And we have a cyborg. And they are whacking each other. And they're not going to get very far at this stage, I think. So let's go see if we can assist. Get rid of some of these blobs. Okay. So you can see that when we're attacking, we're actually making zero sound. So we are silently striking. 
great proficiency. There we go. Let's get rid of the rest of these blobs before we do anything else here. Um, let's see, what do we got? That's a Ryus helmet. Okay. Uh, wow, 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 wow. That's a lot of blobs. Like a, a lot of blobs. We're going to go ahead and we are going to dissect. Ignore the blob. Ignore the blob. Ignore getting attacked. They shouldn't be able to hit us. They are hitting us, it would seem. But uh, they're, they're hitting, but they can't get through our armor. They will not be able to. Let's uh, get all that stamina back. Let's just back up. God damn. Literally every which way. Okay. Catch our breath. Wait for it to come down. And slash we do. With the black ooze. As it makes its way across the ground towards us. And even more of them. This is ridiculous. Okay. Well... If we ever wanted to collect ooze, this is a place for it. I'm actually tempted to gather all of that up and place it into the fridge. Yeah, I think we're actually going to do that. So let's just go ahead and use our sheath. We're going to start hauling. I'm just going to go along like this and just pick up everything along the way. Ignore. Okay. And sure, we'll grab whatever's down there as well. Okay, stop hauling. And we're going to, using the advanced inventory, place everything inside that fridge. Um, probably leaving the butchery refuse outside. Just moving those blob blobs into there. And I can come back here. And there is a chance that they will still be here. A chance. They might not be. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, we're going to need that sword back out. And let's go make a note on the square here. Um, okay, we're going to make it be cyan. So, let's see. There we go. And we're going to make it say... Hmm. Globs. Okay, so imagining it is actually cyan. We can't see it from here. That was a ridiculous amount of them. Okay. Should have been a little bit more cautious with that door. I didn't know for sure that there wasn't anything in here. Let's go ahead and just eat all the chocolates. Because we can. And we have a broken vent machine over there. As we know, it takes great power to destroy a vending machine. And our ears are ringing yet again. Man, there's some serious moving and shaking going on up in here. And further afield. Okay. At least when we're deaf, we can't be disturbed by people. And look at that. Perfect. Earplugs. We can now sleep down here. With uh, relative ease. Okay. I'm thinking, ah, uh, not bathrooms. Zombie dogs. Okay. Let's go put them out of their misery. Or try to, rather. They are very quick, so they can be quite hard for us to hit. But we are succeeding. So let's just go through and smash these suckers. Anything? Medical gloves. Not useful to us. Oh, but there is an iceberg shed. There could be all kinds of goodies inside of that. Let's see what the crates hold. Okay, MISC software. And some sunglasses. Nothing. They're both quite empty. Disappointing. Uh, what do we have here? Codeine. Okay, sure. And that is some royal jelly. Don't mind if I do. Let's almost always see if we can open that on an angle. I think 
I think we're just looking at, yeah, dust mask, soap mask. Again, that was a semi-dangerous door opening there. So apparently, if we have a shovel in here, there's a good chance that we can find things underneath the ash, and apparently the the dark patches are the best places to look. You can apparently find CBMs inside there, so that's cool. Unfortunately, our integrated tool set does not help us out there, and ow, of course, you just go straight for the, the bloody torso, don't you? Okay, let's get as good of a shot as we can here. Okay, uh, really? You got an attack in real quick there. Very disappointed in you. Okay, that's better. Much better. Kevlar plate, can I eat you? The question you should always ask. No. Okay. We're seeing light, so let's try be a little cautious if we can. We could just stick us up. Oh, we got a CBM in there. What do we have? Cable charger system. Okay, that that can be an okay CBM for us. We won't say no to it. Well, we need to get inside first. Let's stop running. I'm tempted to have some atomic coffee just to keep us going here. Good headshot, and handguns have gone up to level three. Brilliant. There we go. We're going to get quite proficient with those handguns. All right, yeah, let's see if we can get this thing open. What have we got? Cream soda. Thank you. Access denied. Not for long. Let's go ahead and unlock. Yes. Fantastic. So we can actually get some more bits and pieces installed. Um, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I left sensory dulling on because I do every single time. Yep, I have. So we would have been slightly slowed in our combat, but that's okay didn't seem to affect us too much. So let's sit down in the seat here. We're going to go ahead and install that power storage CBM to get things going. Okay, we feel good. We feel all right. Now let's see, the cable charger system, 10% chance of failure. I reckon we can pull this off. Indeed, we can. So we can, with jumper cables, connect ourselves to cars and sap power from them. I don't know if it works both ways. Okay, what have we got? We've got Cyborg. Uh, cyborg in here as well. We cannot see in that door, which means that it's probably not going to be a um, shocker. So, that's good. We'll just drop the duffel bag for now, and we'll get ready to enter combat with a whole heap of these things. We're going to move up and into the square first. It looks like it's empty. Indeed it is. With one quick sweep, we knock that one to the floor, maiming it, taking off its leg, and then we come for the other. Okay, let's do this thing. There we go, and you're next. There we go. Okay, not bad. We still had sensory dulling on it as well. We're going to dissect the corpse. We're going to do the same thing to all of them. Okay, and we know, unfortunately, that all we're going to get out of this is power. Is there other CBMs are just uh, kind of too far gone? And done. Okay, all right, let's catch our breath back. All right, we're hungry. We could have the ravioli. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna grab everything, put on our duffel bag. And you know what? Let's go ahead and create an auto pickup here because I'm pretty much almost always going to want to take them. So we're just gonna search for power storage. And then I'm gonna put a wild card at the end there like that. Okay, so let's go test with T. Okay, great. So now when we walk over any, we go ahead and pick up the power storage CBM. At least I believe we would have then. Uh, we didn't, so it didn't work. Okay, auto pickup manager. Hmm. Test. Power storage CBM should be working, but it isn't. So I might have auto pickup turned off overall somewhere. It'll be something that I look into. But when it's working as intended, it's a very nice and easy way to pick up things that you pretty much almost always want. 
we want to be careful when it comes to combat because if we start having that on while we're walking around, if you start picking things up in the middle of combat, it's going to really screw up your flow. That's how we end up dead. Love something to drink, but I don't think. Are you going to give us any thirst back here? You do. And wow, it gives us quite a bit of a boost to our intelligence as well. Knocking that up to 19. But uh, yeah, we will be slightly irradiated there. Momentum shift. Ah, yes. Bonus to dodge and increased to hit. So when we're fighting one creature, it's actually worth us to you know stay in motion. That's the way ninjutsu works in this. If we can keep moving, we'll be really good. And we're elated right now. We're feeling really good about life. Uh, let's have some Prussian blue to see if we can suppress that. I should actually think about having... No, it's iodine. Yeah, Prussian blue is what we want to have before we drink that. Yeah. We're only mildly irradiated. That's fine. Okay. All right, well, let's end of the line up that way, I believe. So, we want to go ahead and start exploring down. No, we can go back that way. You usually like to try and explore the outer edges of the labs before we get too far into it. Because more often than not, well actually all the time, the really interesting things in the labs are on the outsides. And I'm also assuming that this isn't the bottom level. I can't remember if I've seen any stairs down here. That is a nice find. So what do we have here? What can we see? Oh, there we go. <laughs> So this is probably one of my favorite power generation CBMs. Um, essentially what it does is that it puts um, like torsion, torsion ratchets on your limbs so that when you're in motion, you're actually generating power. Very freaking cool. And a mini flamethrower CBM. We don't have that, do we? Mini flamethrower CBM. No, I don't believe we do. I know we had like a... No, we don't. No. I think it's actually, yeah, it must be Dusk that has that. Okay, so we're still pretty hyped up from the coffee. That's a good thing. Let's see if we can crack this thing open. All right, open chambers. Yes. Okay, that's down. Uh, component. Actually, I just wanted to have a look at the manifest. Yeah, so that's all that's here. That's great. Let's go here, take the mini flamethrower CBM. Okay, this is still up. We need to try to hack into this one here. So open chambers. Okay, easy, done, brilliant. Okay, I think we only need to hack the first one. So that's really, really good news for us. Just wanna quickly check here. Okay, we are going to run back. We're gonna get those things installed now because um, that's just gonna keep on generating power for us. And of course, we're gonna install the mini flamethrower as well because we can. So we can now generate flame from our hands because we know how well that flame worked before. Oh, so well. Okay, let's close up that door. Let's get these things installed, Iron Bran. We'll start with the Torch and Ratchet. Okay, 8%, that's pretty good. Successful, brilliant. That Atomic Coffee is still keeping us up. We're at 17, 16. Okay, and we've lost it, but that's okay. Mini Flamethrower is a 10%. Let's see if we can get that down again. Um, we aren't feeling terrible right now. Could we have another hit of the coffee? Hmm. Let's have some Prussian blue before we do. Take some Prussian blue. And then, you know what, actually let's just take a drag of the electronic cigarette. Just give it a little bit of a boost. I guess we could do, no, it's going to be overstimulation. Well, there's a good chance of it. 9%, come on, there we go. Successfully installed. Okay, so now when we move around, our joints are going to generate power for us. So if we go to passive, we'll be able to see it down here. Your joints have been surgically equipped with torch and ratchets that generate power slowly when you move. So it's actually like internal as well. So on our joints themselves, they're hooked into our power system. So they'll be generating power for us over time, which, you know, I'm really, I'm really quite helpful. I'm really quite um, grateful for rather. Very grateful. We've got quite a few like little bonus ones that have just been getting over time that are just great. And there's my favorite song again. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. <laughs> and as for the mini flamethrower, let's have a quick look at that. It does take a little bit more power to use. The index fingers of both hands have powerful fire starters which extend from the tip. 
Great. Yeah, so I think it's like one square away from you. You can move the power. Oh, move the power. You can fire. You can make fire. One square away from you is what I'm trying to say. But my brain is breaking down. Indeed it is. Okay. So we're going to continue along that same path and hope for good things. We still haven't found the oxygenator, which I think is what we're wanting in terms of CDMs to help us fix our asthma. Not yet, but who knows. Let's go ahead and see if we can crack open this. And yep, no, we have been suffering quite badly when it comes to succeeding at those, which I'm surprised that we still haven't pulled it off yet. Yeah. So you'll notice when we're walking backwards and forwards, our power is going up with each step that we take. Not bad, right? It's just one of those like little slow generations that you do over time that can really add up to be something good. Uh, okay. And hello, Broken Cyborg. Alright, well, we're moving right now, so we have momentum shift. Let's keep moving. There we go. So if we stay in motion, we're getting some nice bonuses there to our attack. Something for me to remember. It's a little bit more difficult to do when you've got multiple enemies, because um, you're going to stand a higher chance of taking damage while you're moving around. Not always a good thing. Let's just have a bit of a breather. Okay, anything else we can drink? No, no we do not. Okay, we, we are actually at the bottom. Huh, huh, okay. Um, we're at the bottom of the lab. So, um, I didn't think that we were. We're gonna go ahead and break out the battle rifle here. We're gonna store that in our baldric. We're gonna peek out again. Okay. I don't like the lights here because the lights mean that it's going to be able to see us. I don't know what its range is like. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hold our breath here. And we're going to try and take a really good shot at the security bot. It is. It's quite good. Our ears ring as we fire out from around the corner. As the bot turns around to face us. Two turrets in the corner of the room flick into action. Flick into life. So we attempt to steady up our weapon yet again. Doesn't seem to know 100% where we are yet. The thing moves slowly, nearly dead. We fire one more time. And it dies in a huge explosion. Okay, so I think that we outrange most things in this room. We've got to hope that we do. So we're just going to give it a second. We're going to see if we can hear anything else going on inside there. Right now we can't. Oh, okay, okay, no. Okay, so turrets in either corner. Hmm. Now I wonder if we were to come through this door here, whether or not the turrets would be able to see us. It's a great question. I don't know if I want to answer it. Oh, but it's so worth it though. We have no idea what's in there, but it, it's got to be something great, surely. All right, we're going to go back to Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Activate sheath. There we go. Oh. Okay. I'm excited now about the possibilities of what might be in there. Let's have a quick look around these rooms. See if we can find anything else. Okay, our eardrums are aching. Brilliant. What's this room here? It's just a little side. It's a tiny little... Okay, power converter. Alright, well I guess we could eat it. Just to get a tiny bit of power back. Yeah. Okay. I haven't actually checked these out over here. No food, that's fine. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's continue this way just for a little bit. See what we've got going on. Go ahead and crank these doors open. Oh, I was like, why am I not hearing anything? We're death in game. That's why. Okay, we've got a small blob and the remains of a rat. There we go. Sewer rat corpse. How did you find your way in here? Okay, our hearing is making its way back. Um, let's see if we can... There we go. Glass door. Make our way inside here. There's an electronic cigarette. We're not going to touch it for now. We've been... Well, we did have some just before, but that's... It's okay. 
All right, so nothing we can really do with that station. So we'll just leave it alone for the time being. Continue on down. Okay, bedrooms, nice. But there is something else here with us. We don't know what it is yet. It is making a fair bit of noise though. Um, all right, food. Let's have you and let's have some cooked meat. I guess I completely forgot about the cooked meat before. And you know what? We just accidentally ate the chest rig that I've been holding on to for ages. So we're going to turn off our metabolic, uh, sorry, rather, the internal furnace. Because that's what happens when you have that turned on. You can accidentally end up eating things that you'd rather keep. Yeah. Okay. It's just you. Okay. You're making quite a bit of noise. There we go. Just keep dodging and weaving. Dissect and take what we can. Okay. Oh, sewer snake corpse. Okay. Wait, have a breather. Okay. Let's not step into the goo pit. Thank you very much, Bran. And what do we have down there? Just a regular old syringe. Nice big staircase up. And we have a zombie soldier. Welcome, good sir. Well, I guess we... I mean... Yeah, it seems to work. Just slowly zipping and zapping and slapping. Need to remember that we have taken a little bit of damage here. It's not the end of the world, but it means that we're less durable. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's a barracks down there. Okay, anything in the elevators? What have we got? Library! Hell yes, please. Thank you. Unlock entrance. Yes, lock disabled. And that was with our intelligence being a little lower as well. Okay, any friends? Doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, chocolate covered pretzels. Um, sure. That's gonna make us so much more thirsty. <laughs> what am I doing? self esteem for dummies, pitching a tent, okay. Biofuel. All right, have a quick look here, see what we got. We've got some cookies, apparently. Over here we have nothing new. What about here? Ah, there we go, Book of Dances and Rules of the Road. Okay, right next to each other. So we'll take that and we will also take that. It's going to be worth us having a read of those before we leave here because there is a good chance that we aren't going to actually need them. Is our skills overall are relatively high. Yeah, so that brings our dodge to three, but we're already above that, so we can't learn anything from that. This can bring our driving to three, we can't learn anything from that. And what is a transistor has a whole heap of recipes for us, which is great, so we'll hold on to that. We're gonna go ahead and drop those two. We don't need them, nor do we want them. Nothing in the bathroom. That's fine. That is a-okay. Let's quickly make our way through the rest of this. I'm very excited about trying to get down to, or rather, taking on what is in that final room. I've taken down the one security bot that's there. And I think that's nearly everything. We've got two more areas that we can do over there. I think we're gonna have a little bit of a nap now if we can. We can attempt to, at the very least. We can always put in some earplugs. We seem to be able to sleep okay. Have an asthma attack. Okay. We're doing okay. We toss and turn. Oh, we're just unable to sleep. Yeah, let's let's not do that then. We have done quite a few operations lately, so that's also made that a little bit more difficult for us to uh, sleep when we're not all that tired. Okay. So that's gonna connect up here. Just quickly check this room. Okay. I will quickly have a look in each of these. Duct tape, always. Okay. What do you got for me down here? 
Okay, nice looking hallway. Bifocals. Ooh, okay. Caffeinated chewing gum, very nice. Time magazine, we do not need it, but that cream soda, hell yes we do. Okay, nada. What a break room. Medisoft, sure. And we've got some mutagen. I'm just going to stick to the serums for now, I think. What have we got? Feline serum. Very tempting. Cardboard box. This is a nice little room. Not bad. Hmm. Is that from our big room here? No, it's not. There's another room before we get into that. Interesting. Okay. Nothing in these little dorms, unfortunately. And that's the end of the road that way. Okay. Ducking inside. And we have a scientist. Hello, good sir. Let's rush towards him. Just essentially running past that first slash, just taking out perhaps his ankles, and then as we're rushing past, bam, off comes the head. Just like that. And I still don't think we're alone in here, so we'll want to clear that out before we move any further. Ah, utility vest. We will take you. Thank you. And we will also take that purifier. Just in case. Hello, manhack. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot here. Uh, attacked. Wow, they are incredibly fast. I know they're fast, but that's uh, something else altogether. Okay. Okay. Wow, we are we are not able to hit them. That is. Uh, that's okay. Yep. Hello. Hmm. There he is again. Okay. Let's get a quick one too. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's let's eat this one. Actually, hmm, we're at full power, aren't we? We're very close to full power. Yeah, sure. Internal furnace on for now. Let's go ahead and eat the broken man hack. Yep, easily gets us back up to full. And uh, it looks like they had a few different types of substances in here. Uh, yeah, they did. They really did. So either that's just yeah, it could it could have just been in their lockers. Not like they were testing it or anything. They just had it sitting in there. Okay, let's get this man hack. There we go. Alright, I'm not going to worry about turning on the... Oh, exchange for that. Alright, we've already read that. That's fine. Crack on down into this one here. And we have more scientists. Brilliant. Okay. Quickly check those rooms. I'm still hoping for an inhaler. Ah, oh, you dropped an acid flask. Okay, all right, let's get dissecting. Let's see what we find. Okay, integrated dosimeter CBM. Now, I feel like we failed on that in the past, so yes, please. We will take you with us. Okay, on to you. Dissect and see what we find. Okay, just power storage. Better than nothing. Let's get our breath back. Have some cooked meat. There we go. Uh, we can get some toilet water, but um, I'm a little concerned that we've lost our canteen. Did, did it get destroyed? I'm wondering if it was accidentally eaten by our... <laughs> internal furnace it's entirely possible entirely possible because if we go if we try to collect water from here pour into a container it doesn't say we have any so yeah all right that's one more body to butcher <coughs> attacked by the sneeze okay ignore the attack okay cerebral booster i don't think we have that yet a cerebral booster will take our intelligence even higher than what it is right now, so that's uh, that's something that we'd love to get installed. Okay. 
What have we got inside the room? Compound delivery. All right. Well, you know, there is only one room left at this stage. It's that big old finale room, which is going to be trouble. I would really like that. There we go. Asthma to pass. And it has. You, good sir. Take a precise shot at you. There we go. Finger guns for the win. All right. Just some boots. And we've got some noise. Hey, we've got some clean water. Brilliant. We'll just go ahead and drink that now. Why not? Look at that. We were very thirsty. And two bottles of water. Rather, a full bottle of water was enough to hydrate us. Hmm. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Yeah, lots lots and lots of noises in there. That's a little concerning. Um, hmm. Okay. Ah, more zombie scientists. I, I'm really not upset about that. In the slightest. I will gladly take a shot or two at them. Okay, that's two of them. And we've got even more. Brilliant. Okay. Take some precise shots here. Alright, we want to go for the man hex. Thank you. Okay, that was a wild miss. Uh, ignore. There we go. That's how we do it. Okay. I don't know what these rooms were before, but they've uh, outright destroyed them. So, scientist number one. We're going to go ahead and dissect. The scientists are a great source of CPMs for us. Enhanced hearing? Hell yes. So with those, we can actually turn off our ears now. I know it sounds weird, but uh, yeah, that's probably one of the best things about it. We can hear better, but uh, it means that we don't need to carry around earplugs, so we can get rid of the ones that we have right now. Uh, and we're going to have to get rid of some other things, because we are carrying too much stuff currently. You can go. Alright, enhanced hearing. Yeah, it's a little too much, isn't it? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and see what the others have on them. Zombie scientist, dissect. Internal climate control, we already have that CBM, that's fine. Let's see what we have here. Electroshock unit. Okay, <laughs> great. All of these are fantastic. Uh, and there's some water there apparently. Okay, yeah, drink it, get, get slaked man. Do it. Alright, so... Let's see, what are we going to do here? Well, these CBMs, I'm going to current... I'm going to leave here for the time being. I'm going to leave here. I'm not going to forget about them, I say. Actually, let's let's grab them and drag them out into the hallway, at the, at the very least. Okay. I mean, really, I there are things that we probably don't need to be holding on to here. That I am holding on to. Alright, dropping you off, you and the three of those. So, like, yeah, volume-wise, how much uh, How much is all of that? Twelve. So we need to get rid of twelve out of our inventory, which is uh, not super easy. So it's a volume thing, not a weight thing that we're dealing with here. Okay, so the food dehydrator, um, <laughs> we, we can drop that. That actually gives us a fair bit more space. We can grab those two. Then we don't have to worry about the power storage ones. Okay. Power storage we can come back for. But we're going to work through to the finale here. Uh, let's not try and hack that while we're having an asthma attack. Come on. It'll pass. There we go. Unlock the entrance. So, so far we've been quite lucky. All of our asthma attacks are happening outside of combat. If they were to happen in combat, it could be very, very bad for us. Okay. Nothing in these rooms, so let's start checking on our books. What do we have? AA guide. Okay, so that's going to be for driving. Um, we'll go ahead and just turn on our cranial flashlight. Just so we can have a read of it right away. Um, huh, we can't read it. Because we actually need to be able to hold this. I see. I see, I see how it is. Fine. Alright, we'll just have to drop these other books just for the time being. 
I shall come back and grab them after we've read through these. And I can see, okay, a guide we can actually learn from. This lot here, let's have a quick look. Um, principles of advanced programming. Now that could be really quite good for us, okay. So we, again, we're gonna have to drop more stuff, drop more books. And we're going to read principles of advanced programming. Can you do anything? You can actually teach us more. And over here, knife fighters notes. Okay. Anything from the knife fighters notes? No. We already know everything the book could potentially teach us. And principles of advanced programming. Candy cigarettes. Okay. All right. So those are the books. We'll take back what we can. All right, yeah, so we, we're, we're going to be over at this stage. So I am going to do something about that. I'm going to fix it. Let's go ahead and just grab these for now. We'll drag them out, store them with the rest of the CBMs and the food dehydrator. Those are items that we are going to come back for. But for now, this is the door that we're going to try and make our way in through. And I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about it because all it's going to take is one little mistake here. Uh, let's see if we can actually put that in a sheath. Okay, so what's good here is that, okay, we spotted the turrets. We might actually be able to target those turrets. We can. It's at the very edge of our range, but we can target them. Go us. Okay. All right. We start to steady our shot. We fire. And I think that was a miss. Yep, that was a miss. Okay. Take a deep breath again. Oh yeah, our chance to hit from back here is really not all that good. Uh, that's going to be instant death from here. Yep. So we cannot... We cannot get away with that. What about our finger laser? Okay, the finger laser actually has a much better chance. Okay, and we can keep firing the finger laser to our heart's content. Okay, we grazed it then. As we can see, the, the chances here, we because we're at 100% right now, so we have a 10% chance to graze, a 10% chance to get a great hit, and a 30% chance to get normal. So, yeah, we're still at a 50-50% you know, chance if we're actually going to hit at all. We're just going to see if we can whistle this thing down it is nearly dead there we go with a huge explosion the turret is toast okay so with that on to the next oh my god do you see that I just walked out there by accident we didn't die they might be out of ammunition I don't see shell casings around them Okay. That was quite bizarre. We're not going to take a chance with that, though. That could have just been a pure fluke. Yeah. Come on, here we go. Grazing hit. That was a good hit. Just going to keep on firing from this door here. Severely injured. There we go. Huge explosion. Okay, so all we need to do now is rush back around to the other side. See if we can take them out from that way. It's still... It's going to be really dangerous because... Uh, the one that's in the corner down here is going to be very difficult for us to get no matter what. Okay, and I just need to make sure that I do this in the right order, because if I hit Y, that actually does move us. <laughs> and Y is to select our little finger gun here. There we go. So there's only one turret left. Now, this is where it's going to get quite tricky. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to see if we can outsmart this turret here, because while we can work in the dark, the turret cannot. 
So we're going to see if we can go ahead and fire our laser at that. Okay, so we, we actually do need to try and wait and get a precise shot. Okay. Okay. Well, we hit where the light is, but unfortunately it didn't seem to get rid of the light. I'll try it one that's a little bit further away, just to see if we have any kind of chance. Because we know we can smash them, but unfortunately, yeah, that doesn't work. Whether or not shooting works, we'll find out as well. Nope, shooting does not work. Okay, so, what are we going to do here? This is where I wish we had that uh, cloak, just to give us a little bit of cover. I'm not sure what the range on these things are. The best thing I think we can do right now is attempt to just get up the top as fast as possible to start running. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, God. Bran felt that as he just entered the room and starts running towards the shadow in the corner. He feels something reflect off the back of his bag. Yep, it shot at us. It shot at us, but it missed. Well, it, it hit us, but our armor reflected it, thankfully. Because uh, that was at the edge of its range, so really wasn't going to be able to do that much to us. Okay, we hit it. That's good. We're just going to keep on going through here. Taking precise shots. It's nearly dead. There we go. That sounded good. Okay, so we are seeing 9mm rounds that have been dropped all about the place here. Batteries on that side. Yep. And what is inside there? There's some kind of serum. I was really hoping that it was going to be a CBM of some kind that was locked up. Alas, that's not the case. What do we have here? Chimera. Is that a Chimera serum? It is indeed. Well, we're going to take that with us. It's labeled Chimera. I really hope that Bran finds someone he can use it on eventually. Okay, we need to make sure we can get into this thing. Bypass security, yes. Unlock storage. Containment shields are open. We have the Chimera Serum. We've conquered another lab, but there are more levels to this thing. Levels that take us further above. We aren't going to be too interested in what's on those levels, unless they are the rooms where we can find CBMs inside. But there is something up there making a lot of noise. Something that I think we'll find out perhaps in the next. Hmm. It's going to be dangerous. It always is. And finally, we might get an answer to where exactly on the map this lab is. Where its entrance is. If it's in someone's basement somewhere. It is certainly secret. More secret than any other lab we've seen so far. So let's see if we can get ourselves some answers. But for now, I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.